everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys everything about third trimester. Third trimester goes from week 27 to the end of your pregnancy and I am currently 37 weeks pregnant, which is considered full term, so baby can come anytime between 37 weeks to 40 weeks, so I'm ready to meet this little bean. This is gonna be my second baby. My daughter is just about two years old, so they're two years apart, and I remember when I was pregnant with my daughter, especially towards the end of pregnancy, I was like so anxious to meet her and so excited, and I was like hoping that I went into labor early and this go around is a little bit different because although I'm so excited to meet them I also am in no rush to meet them because I know that once they're here it goes by so fast that like newborn stage so I'm just trying to like embrace each moment and not try to rush anything also I know how exhausting it is to have a newborn so I am just getting as much rest as I can and enjoying the moments that I can go to bed early and wake up late and yeah. <laughs> I will show you guys the 37 week pregnancy bump. This is what she's looking like. Very round, very big, very full. You can see I have lots of like veins showing. I'll be talking about that later. Oh, they actually look really bad on the camera right now. I didn't know they were that bad. Holy man. That is the bump. <laughs> we still don't know the gender of baby number two. So that's something I'm also really, really excited for. I can't wait to find out their gender. I mean, we're just gonna be happy either way, obviously. We already have a girl, so it'd be really nice to have a boy. But at the same time, I love having a girl, so I'd be completely fine if it was another baby girl. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all of the symptoms that I have experienced in my third trimester of pregnancy. And I'm also gonna talk about like last minute baby prep and priorities that you should be focusing on during your third trimester. The first symptom I'm gonna be talking about is probably like the biggest symptom that I've had and it's the most uncomfortable and the most painful symptom. And that is that I've had this very uncomfortable, bruising-like feeling in my lower abdomen. It is right here under the baby bump. And the only way I can describe it is like a bruising, really sore feeling. It doesn't feel like a cramp. It's just a consistent bruising feeling. My doctor said that it's really normal and it's more common the more children you have. So because you've had like a previous baby, your muscles are already kind of used to loosening up. So they loosen up more quickly and that causes things to just become more sore. There's more pressure there. The bump is big. The next symptom that I've been experiencing has been more of like a current symptom that I'm going through now. And that's that around 35 weeks, I've started to have Braxton Hicks contractions. They're just kind of like practice contractions. Um, they're different than labor. They're not as painful. They're not regular. And they just come and they last anywhere from like a couple minutes to maybe 10 minutes max. And it feels kind of like a period pain and things just get really tight and crampy and then it goes away. Those happen to kind of like help prepare your body for like what labor will be like. The next symptom has to do with my boobies. Um, around 32 weeks, I started to notice they are getting more full. Um, this is something that's different than my first pregnancy because with my pregnancy with my daughter, my boobs were sore right from the very beginning. Like that's how I knew I was pregnant. They were so sore. They got so full so fast, really tender. And my nipples were leaking colostrum pretty much like the very first trimester of pregnancy. With this go around, my colostrum didn't come until around 32 weeks and my boobs didn't get more full and tender until about like 35 weeks. My nipples have also got a lot darker than normal. They're like a brown color versus this pretty pink color they used to be. <laughs> so yeah, the boobs change a lot through pregnancy and 
that's something that it kind of goes away after you have the baby but also kind of not like when you become a mother especially if you're breastfeeding your boobs are just never gonna go back to normal um never ever ever you just gotta learn to accept your new boobies as as they are <laughs> another very annoying symptom that i have been having um it's kind of been something that i experienced in both my second trimester and third trimester and it's that when i sleep if i stretch out my leg at night I get very, very painful cramps in my calf. Um, it feels like a Charlie horse. It wakes me up at night and I literally have to wake up my husband and I'm like, it's happening, it's, it's so painful. The next symptom, which you guys saw in my stomach earlier, is the more prominent veins in both my chest my belly i have like my veins like you can easily see them i'll insert a picture of them the other day when they were just like i was looking in the mirror and i was like oh my god like that is so crazy but there's just so much blood flowing in your body when you are pregnant and your veins are just popping so you can see it in my chest you can see it in my belly also in my like down below region I have so many like swollen, bulgy veins. It's so unattractive and don't worry, it goes away after you have the baby. There's just so much pressure in that area that it causes these veins to just like pop. Um, and that ex I had that too when I was pregnant with my daughter and when I like looked down there and I was like, oh my God, please tell me that that is gonna go away. And it does, it goes away. It's not a forever kind of thing, so don't worry. Another symptom that you are most likely going to experience is that you have a ton of fatigue. You're super, super tired, but yet you have trouble sleeping because your belly is so big and it can be very, very uncomfortable to try to get yourself to bed. I do use my pregnancy pillow, but even with that, it's just very uncomfortable. It's, it hurts to sleep on your back. You're supposed to sleep on your left side, but it's really hard to stay put in one position at night. So I constantly am tossing and turning and it's just no fun. Another thing is that you are gonna have to use the bathroom so many times. I wake up at least three times at night and that is challenging because then you gotta put yourself back to bed, which is difficult. Another symptom is that I've been having heartburn. I've never been a person to have heartburn ever and I didn't have it with my first pregnancy, but in this third pregnancy, I do get a little bit of heartburn. It usually happens after breakfast or if I eat too many grains like cereal or oatmeal or toast or stuff like that. I get out of breath really easily, whether I'm like cleaning the house or out grocery shopping or taking care of my toddler, I feel like I am constantly huffing and puffing and trying to catch my breath. All right, so that was pretty much all of the biggest symptoms that I experienced in my third trimester. For you, you may have a totally different experience, but I feel like these are pretty common symptoms that a lot of women experience, so hopefully you can relate to them. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is priorities that you should be focusing on your third trimester. The first thing I wanna say is get rest as much as you can. Motherhood is a huge job. It's a full-time job. It's more than a full-time job, honestly. It's a lot of, lot of work. So when you feel tired, if it's possible, if you're not working, take as much rest as you can. Sleep in in the morning or go to bed early. What I always do to get my rest in is when my toddler naps, I usually take a nap, whether it's with her to get that one-on-one -on -one bonding time or whether I put her down and then go put myself to bed. I try to get as much rest as possible. When you're not resting and when you have the energy, try to get as much housework done as possible. When the baby's here, you're not gonna have time to do any cleaning, any cooking, any organizing. So if you feel the nesting instincts coming in, take advantage of that. Um, do a big house clean. Have the house spotless and clean for that to bring that newborn baby home. Meal prep. Um, I like to meal prep muffins and banana breads, spaghetti sauce and chili and soups, things that are just like really easy to stick in the deep freeze so that when baby's here, I can easily pull out a meal without having to cook. 
Another thing is make sure that there's gas in your car. This goes to my husband Andy because every single time that I hop in his car, it's completely empty. He is the worst at filling his tank. So make sure that you have gas in your car because worst case scenario, you are rushing to the hospital and you have no gas. Also, make sure you have the car seat installed or by the door ready to go. Another thing is have the nursery all prepared. Um, be fully stocked for baby, have their diapers ready, have all of their laundry folded and tucked in their cute little drawer, have their crib sheet on. Just be prepared because when you finally have that baby, you're just gonna wanna cuddle them and rest. And especially postpartum is rough, man. You're gonna be on bed rest for a couple days. If you have another child like I do, start preparing him or her for the new upcoming changes that are about to happen. Bringing a newborn baby home is a really big change both for mom and for the kids because it is going to take some attention away from the kids. They're most likely going to get jealous. So how I've been preparing my daughter is by buying books about newborn babies, buying books about becoming a big sister, um, teaching her how to take care of her baby doll so she feeds the baby doll and changes the baby doll's bum and all of that kind of stuff. Um, Talk to her about mama's belly and how there's a baby in there. And my daughter every single morning comes and kisses my belly and says baby and gives baby lots of lots of kisses. So prepare your toddler so that the upcoming change is a little bit less dramatic. Have your hospital bag ready and by the door, have everything you need in it, along with all of your postpartum products. Postpartum is honestly the most difficult trimester it's it was really really rough on me i only had one tear and one stitch and it was still the worst experience of my life so have all of those essentials like your peri bottle your tuck wipes your epsom salts your witch hazel your pads or diapers or whatever you're gonna wear your underwear your black underwear that you don't mind getting ruined have it all because by when you come home, you're gonna need it right away. The final priority is that you should have gotten your household in good habits. This is something that I've really tried to implement in our life. Keep up with your laundry. Um, don't let the laundry pile up. Do a little bit every single day instead of having it built up. Um, every single night, I try to have the dishes done. So instead of waking up to a pile of dishes, I try to get in the habit of closing the kitchen, having the kitchen clean so that in the morning everything is just fresh and good. So um, same with like cleaning your house, don't let things just get out of hand. So that's something that I've definitely been getting good at. So I feel a little more confident that by the time baby's here, I'm gonna better be able to manage life because I have embedded these good practices into my home. And that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope that this video was something that really helped you and something that you can relate to because pregnancy is so, so weird and strange and your body is going through so many changes and you can often wonder like, is this just happening to me or is this happening to other women as well? And most likely it's happening to other people as well and some of the changes on our bodies can make us feel a little bit self-conscious or uncomfortable so it's good to be able to know that other people are going through what you're going through and also congratulations i forgot to say that at the beginning of my video congratulations that you're in your third trimester congratulations that you're having a baby and i am sure you are so excited to meet them so enjoy those newborn moments and try to embrace every single stage and don't rush anything because it goes by so so fast also stay tuned for the birth of our baby we're going to be having another birth vlog where you guys get to find out the gender at the same time we do there is so many fun things and exciting things happening on my channel right now so hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and we will see you in my next video